I'm sure you've heard the statement, dress for success. And that's something to keep in mind when you're preparing for what you're going to wear to a YouTube event. I think Aaliyah's face serves as the perfect backdrop to begin this conversation. So if you don't know who that is, she is a really huge YouTuber approaching a million subscribers more than likely will have a million subscribers in 2024, and she's in the beauty and fashion space. She went to three huge YouTube events in 2023, and I want to take a look at what she wore and how she presented herself so that we can take, like, pinpoint some principles and use that as inspiration when we're figuring out what to wear for the YouTube events that we shall be attending in the future. You might be saying to yourself, I'm just a small creator. What YouTube events will I be going to? I'm not Aaliyah's face. Why should I care so much or even be thinking about this without even having an invitation to a YouTube event? I won't even be going to events on that level as Aaliyah. No, 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 no. Let me just take a moment to reframe your mind for a second. I don't know where you live, but I do have the opportunity and blessing to live in a big city. Not to say those that live in a small city, it's not a blessing, but I'm just saying I live in Atlanta. Um, and there's a lot of events that go on here. There's a lot of creators that live here. If you live in a smaller town or a town that's not as jumping, I can understand why you might be thinking like, I'm not even a YouTube event. You just might have a lot of question marks around that. But I think going forward in 2024, my mentor had put this on me that I need to put myself in the room more. I need to put myself in rooms where there's people who make more money than me, who have experience more than me in business, so on and so forth. And I have been just really praying about that happening for me, even though I don't know how, I want it to happen for me. And I want you to use this video as sort of a manifestation for okay, sooner rather than later, I will be in a room with my peers. I will be in a room with other creators, other YouTubers. I could even be at really huge YouTube um, facilitated events sooner than I even may know. Let's call it in, girls. And whoever else is watching, like, we can be in these spaces and I hope if you're watching, you want to be um, in these spaces. Online is amazing, but getting into an actual event that has either YouTubers at it primarily or is put on by YouTube or it's hosted by a YouTuber, I want more of that for us. And I think that's really impactful to building our brands. That's what I was saying. I was saying that online is cool, but if we can build our brands offline as well by being in the room, it's going to go a long way for us. So Aaliyah, I will definitely take into consideration like she's a fashion girly, like she has a passion for that. She probably has a lot of things in her closet that give a little oomph. And what I, what I mean by that is Aaliyah does already have a pretty built out wardrobe with pieces in there that are perfect for these types of events. But putting that aside, we can still take a look at how she chose to present herself. And she chose outfits that were one appropriate for the particular event, which is the first, I guess, principle, maybe I'll change the word later in the video, but the first kind of thing I want to point out, you want to dress appropriately for the event. If you come to an event and you just look out of place, like you, you look like you weren't even thoughtful of what might the dress code be, even if it wasn't explicitly said, it already puts some points against you. We, we have to be honest, like how you dress, how you present yourself, majority of people create thoughts and ideas about you automatically just by what they see. 
So you want to think about the event and consider what will be appropriate for this space. And you also want to consider, all right, this is what's appropriate for the event, but how can I still represent or give off what I'm trying to give off when attending this event? I'm going to my first YouTube event, which is not really a YouTube event. However, it is hosted by a YouTuber who has 100,000 subscribers on here. She's a lifestyle, beauty, fashion influencer as well. Her name is Chelsea Janae. If you're curious about her um, and checking her out, I'm going to my first event and I'm assuming that there's gonna be other content creators there. Maybe not everybody, but a good amount of people will be content creators and she's a YouTuber. So to me, this is in the category of like a YouTube related type of an event. And it's a vision board party, which I've never been to a vision board par party. So I had to, to kind of take a wild guess about, okay, how should I dress? What What is the dress code going to be? It wasn't explicitly said. So I've had to take into account, you know, what, what, what might we be doing there? And just try to create an outfit that comfortability is always going to be important for me. But that works for the things I just talked about. Let me move on to my next point because I just thought of it. You know how I just said comfortability has always been a thing for me? Well, here's another thing you want to take in consideration. What are your three words? Your three fashion words. I've heard about this concept from a woman here on YouTube. Let me quickly actually insert it so she can explain it to you. So what are the three words or what is the three word method? There are a couple of stylists and designers who do a lot of deep dives into this as well. So I will link their content down below. But for me, I think your three words are adjectives or descriptors that not only describe your personal style, like the aesthetic, but also an aesthetic or a style that you aspire to. I also think these adjectives and descriptors are almost a reflection of who you are on the inside as well. So they're not necessarily the common fashion descriptors that we often see like bohemian and I don't know classic even though I'm gonna use that one. I think we can go a little bit beyond those traditional descriptors and think outside the box like maybe powerful or creative or pragmatic and analytical. I think when we look at these three words from a personality perspective or a lifestyle perspective it can also help us make decisions that are more in alignment with who we are and what we do every day. So yes, you want to know what your three words are so that that can guide your decision and what you want to wear. So even what Aaliyah wore to this event right here, she described it as like clean and simple and easy. And then I'm wearing <laughs> this set. Y'all have seen this like five times at this point, but it's just easy. It looks nice. It's, you know, yeah. Essentially, it always looks put together. So maybe it'll be helpful for you to get a piece like that, an outfit like that, and keep it in your closet so that if a YouTube event type of thing comes up, you already have something that you can go, go to. This other event that she went to, now they, the, the brand cast event, they picked out this dress for her, I believe. But what we can take from this is it's a bit more flashy than the first outfit. You want to decide, like, do you want to wear an outfit or accessories that are like conver conversation starters, or do you want to kind of wear something that keeps you blended in with the rest of the people that are there? In my opinion, I think there has to be a, a mix of both. It's helpful to have conversation starter pieces, like something that you can probably assume another woman or someone will come up to you and be like, oh my gosh, I love your shoes. Where'd you get them from? Now the conversation has started. Now you can naturally kind of converse and get to know that person just because you had you were intentional about the shoes that you wore. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to 
if you just wore like a plain Jane type of outfit, nothing on it was eye-catching or spectacular, if that's your style sense, I understand, but this, we're, this video is about being intentional with what you would wear, can wear to a YouTube related event. So if you're comfortable with that more plain Jane type of look, I'm sorry, I don't have another way to describe it, but minimal, um, classic, you know, something that's not really flashy. If that's what you're comfortable with, I, I understand that. But maybe you want to take a step out of your comfort zone and put on something a little bit more razzle dazzly so that you don't even have to rely only on yourself to spark up conversation. What you wear, how you present yourself can really do that for you, which I think is helpful um, for people that don't really even know how to work the room or network or anything like that. Let your outfit help you out in that area. And then this last outfit that Aaliyah has on, I think it was one of the cutest outfits and one of the outfits that really represent Aaliyah's personality. Um, she calls her subscribers, her viewer, her viewers, hoochies. And I'm not saying like this is a hoochie vibe outfit or anything, but it's showing skin. It's showing skin. It's youthful. It's fun. Um, her Chanel belt bag, her Chanel earrings. I believe those are Dior slingback pumps. It just represents who Aaliyah is if you're familiar with her. And I think this outfit really brings about a message that in these YouTuber type spaces, YouTube events, having an outfit that represents you and what your channel is about and what your personal brand is about can really make you memorable in that space. She literally got a compliment on her outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love your outfit. Yeah. It looks so great. Oh, thank you. And this is not about fishing for compliments, no, but I just think that person didn't have to say anything to her, but it, it was, it's more than how she looks. She probably was giving off a very confident energy and just really feeling like herself because she was wearing something that is representative of her. That leads me to another point. I know for me, when I'm wearing something that I feel like I look good in, Oh, my confidence is through the roof. That's why I think like even before you're invited to these events, find out about these events, I think it's worth thinking about, okay, let me get an outfit in my wardrobe that I know if I put on, my confidence is going to really, really shine through. Who I am is really gonna come out because I truly believe in that saying, when you look good, you feel good. And that is something that you wanna take seriously. We, we've kind of focused a bit on the clothing part of things, but I do wanna get into hair and makeup. And when my hair is done, my confidence is also really high. Like I'm not, I don't really even know how to do my makeup, but my hair though, like if it's looking right, I really feel good. Like I just can't stress that enough. So think about, okay, we have these kind of different outfit profiles, an outfit that is easy, put together, always looks good. It's a little bit more reserved, maybe the word is, but it can work in a variety of situations. Then we have the really pop, poppin', flashy type of outfit, which won't work for everything, but when it is appropriate, let's use it and kinda make the outfit be the statement. And then we have the third outfit profile, which is an outfit that truly represents your personality. You wanna think about okay, what hairstyle and what makeup do I wanna match with these outfits? Start thinking about that ahead of time. Aaliyah is usually, she's good about keeping her nails done. She started off as a makeup, a person giving makeup tutorials on YouTube. She worked at Mac, 
she got the makeup part down and she keeps her hair done like that's what she she does not all of us girls are are at that level with it yet I know for sure I'm not but you may want to I think giving like that thought to it beforehand when the opportunity arises because once again we're 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 bringing in these types of YouTube event opportunities you already know I want to have my hair like this because I'm wearing this type of outfit I need to go get it done from so so like let's let's start to think about that stuff and then with makeup I'm I'm not too sure, but in all of these different looks that Aaliyah had, she didn't have anything heavy. She can do a full full face of makeup, but it doesn't ever look heavy and caked on to me. I know makeup is a personal preference, but you really have to think about, you're gonna be face to face. Hold on, my camera's about to die. To drive this point home on makeup, I am going to read it exactly from my notes. Select makeup that not only makes you feel your best, but also authentically reflects your personality and the image you want to convey. So part three of this video talks about the things that are important that aren't necessarily your outfit, your hair, your makeup, your nails. These this is the stuff that more so falls along the lines of having like networking skills and i feel like at a youtube youtube content creator event you want to be able to clearly state what kind of content you create who do you create it for what is your channel about if you don't even only consider yourself a content creator how do you want to introduce yourself and just kind of preparing for that beforehand. So before my event this Sunday, one of the things that I want to kind of work out is basically that, like, how do I want to introduce myself? The question of, oh, what do you do? often comes up and again, a YouTube content creator event may not only have creators and I think naturally in many events, social events, that's not the parties or clubs or I don't know. I'm just saying like, what do you do is a question that commonly comes up and you really want to know how do you want to answer it. I don't think there's anything wrong with t taking some time to think about the answer to that question. Um, what's another common question? Tell me about your work slash business. How do you get started in the industry? Um, what projects are you currently working on? What areas of work are you most passionate about? Have you attended similar events before? What brings you to this event? These are all questions that you can kind of start to let your brain marinate on the answer to. So you're not thrown off when asked at these YouTube events and you can really come off like you know yourself and you're aware of who you are. Familiarize yourself with these questions to present a self-aware and confident image, helping you understand and articulate who you are in these type of networking situations. Part four of this is you want to think about, you know, the host or sometimes the event isn't as intimate as the event I'm going to. Sometimes it might be a bigger YouTube event who knows what's in in the cards for us but i guess if it is a more intimate event maybe you're going to a dinner with that a brand has invited you to come on let's call it in let's think about it um you might be going to a, a dinner that a brand put on or maybe something similar to me it's a content creator hosted event you might want to consider bringing a gift for whoever's hosting and putting on the event when that's appropriate, you know? And I think gifts are cool because for me, like, I really enjoy Chelsea. I really have built a connection to her and meeting her and being around her is going to be an awesome, awesome like, experience for me. And I like her. So this gift comes from a place of, like, 
I fuck with you for lack of better words. I, I thank you for putting on this event. It comes from a place of gratitude. Like, thank you for doing this. Thank you for your effort and your energy you have put into this event. I know you did this for, for us, for me, the people that you have invited, but I just want to show a little piece of thanks to you, and here's a gift. That That's the reason that I'm doing it. And I think showing gratitude by bringing a gift for the host is, is not a bad idea. I got Chelsea a gift. I just have to get um, like a bag for it and a card. I do want to also put a card in there. And I think that's a nice touch. Putting on events is a lot of hard work. And even if it's something with a brand like maybe the contact that invited you, can you can bring them a nice gift. You may not have as strong as emotional connection to them, but you can still have empathy for the work they have put in to make sure you were sitting in that room. You understand what I'm saying? So that's really all that I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, if you have an upcoming YouTube content creator event, please share it with me below. Um, I don't know. You don't have to. <laughs> I'm just really excited for my event. I got my I got my dress today. Now, I wasn't planning to really buy something new for this event. I did want to use what was in my closet, but y'all, the whole laundry situation has been a real issue for me. And I didn't get to go to the cleaners. My shit's not ready in my closet, basically, which leads to oftentimes going to grab something. And it's right over here. I mean, I'll get it. I'll get it. <laughs> here she Here she is. She is right in here. There we go. Let's see. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I'm not even gonna pull out the whole dress. Um, I'm putting this video up before the event, but I will be vlogging or I will be sharing. I am going to be sharing about the event in some capacity coming up on the channel. So stay tuned and you can see what look I decided to put together for this event. I went for a long dress that will be versatile in my closet after this event. Um, it it's, works for the season that we're in. It's something that I will be comfortable in and it's not too casual. I was going to go more casual because that's just the type of time I've been on with not really having a lot of my real clothes, as I like to call them, um, ready to go in my closet because I haven't done no laundry. So I've just been wearing sweats and stuff. Um, so I was going to lean on the casual side, but then I'm like, no, I really want to... I don't want to blend in everyone else. I don't even know what anyone else is wearing, but I wanted something that will help me... <sighs> that will help me stand out. And I just wanted to feel confident. I just wanted to hit on all the things that we we talked about in this video. I'm sorry, I, I was trying to answer a text. But I do hope it was helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs> How awkward was this ending? <laughs>